set with Straight Line Stitch, and you're watching Stubble, the new growth in music. This is David from Red Fang. Mark from Suicide Silence. This is Dave McLean from Machine Head. This is Kirk Winston of Down, Crowbar, and Kingdom of Sorrow. You're watching Stubble, the new growth in music. Hey, this is Jeff with Stubble Music Zine. I'm here at the Rockstar Mayhem in Mountain View, California, and I'm hanging out with who? Seth from Straight Line Stitch. Seth, what's up, man? Welcome to the Bay Area. Hell yeah, man. So, um, how'd the shows go last night? Uh, it was the first show? It was good. Um, a little unexpected because it's our first time ever being on a large festival at this scale. And uh, it seemed like people actually knew who we were. They were singing the words and stuff, and uh, we survived the heat, and it came off well. We were, we were really happy with the outcome. Nice. Well, I mean, I probably would expect people to, to know who you are. Uh, your name of your latest album, Fight of Our Lives. The Fight of Our Lives, right? David did what? Number five on the Heat Seekers? Heat Seekers? Yeah, man. So, yeah. The, so that, I mean, that's pretty impressive, yeah, that's dude, with, with metal. Yeah, I mean, it is. It is. Hey, it's not number one, but hey, number five, you can't complain. It's uh, better than the first one, I think. So, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a uh, good start there. So, what's up? Uh, what's coming up for you guys after this? Uh, after this, we do. Uh, I think we do a one-off festival in Brooklyn, New York. It's the Afropunk Festival, and then uh, we go to the, to Europe to do a long, long, long run with our friends in Thirty Six Crazy Fists. And uh, nice, good guys. It's, yeah, and it's it's a long tour. Apparently, from what I understand, most bands just go over there and do like twelve days. I think we're doing like close to thirty, so it's going to be intense. And we've only been there one time. We only went and did one show at the Download Festival about three weeks ago. But Dude, how was that? It was insane. How, so where did you play? Did you get like what, ten stages there? Yeah, uh, five stages. We mm -hmm. were on the third stage. Still played in front of three or four thousand people. It was, it was intense, man. It's just, <laughs> it was it, like like I said, it was our first show over there. So for us, it was like baptism by fire because right, right. they just dumped us in. It's like, okay, this is your first show ever in the UK or Europe period. So we're gonna put you in front of all these people in this mega huge festival, and we're like, holy crap. If you were, um, if you woke up and you were part of um, a human centipede. Mm -hmm. uh, with Cameron Diaz and Megan Fox. Um, would you want to be in the front, middle, or back? Who's in the back? You, you tell me. Uh, if Megan Fox had to be the first one, then I'd be in the middle. And then, is it Cameron Diaz? Cameron Diaz? Yeah, Cameron Diaz. Because I, I don't like her laugh. She could stick her mouth up my ass and just be done with it. If, if nuclear warfare devastated the Earth and you're the only man left, mm -hmm. um, and it's up to you to repopulate the Earth, who do you mate with? Uh, I'm, I'm, I've got like this major crush on uh, Rachel McAdams. I don't know something about her. So sweet and innocent. She looks. She's so hot too. <laughs> You're on a desert island. Mm -hmm. uh, desert island question. Uh, one book, one movie, one album. Um, one movie would have to be for me. Uh, any of the older Star Wars movies, I, like you know, from part four to part six, I can look, watch those over and over and over and over again. Uh, book wise, would have to be. Um, geez. Motley Crue, The Dirt. I really, 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 really like that book a lot. Yeah, yeah. I think I've read it a couple times already. Uh, us too. And then a uh, record. Um, you know, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say any particular record because um, I would, but I would like to go with like maybe something like The Greatest Hits of the Police or something like that that just, you know, you can listen to all day, every day and not get tired of hearing it. And plus, it's got message in a bottle in it, it right? It does, yeah, yeah. Message. At what point does a girl become a woman? I guess when the red dragon arrives, man. <laughs> How can we better promote volunteerism in America? Um, gosh, I don't know. Maybe just people open their hearts? It, if evolution says we come from monkeys, um, why are there still monkeys? What, what's the last part? <laughs> if, if evolution says we come from monkeys, why are there still monkeys? I don't know, maybe those are just the slackers in the group. Uh, <laughs> what is the where, 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 should I, where should I get my next tattoo? Um, you don't have any tattoos? Or do you have any? Yeah, I do. You do? Um, I don't know, because I don't know you well enough to say where to get it. It's okay. You got anything you want to sell to the uh, fans that are going to be coming out to see you guys uh, yeah. the rest of the summer? Yeah, we love you. We love you with all of our hearts. And, uh, you know, from my previous answer, there's no rock star attitudes in this group. So come up and say hello. We're at our meet and greet tent from 315 on. And we'll stay there as long as you guys keep coming. So come say hi.